well, it was bound to happen. On the last flight, I uh, hit a tree high up and sustained about a 20-foot fall. And it landed on a concrete slab. And what happened was the motor became disengaged from uh, the housing. Now, this is all new to me, and I've never taken one of these drones apart. So we're going to do some investigative surgery here. So the, the propeller goes around, but the motor came out, and there's a, um, a pinion gear that goes right there, and that's missing. So Air Drone has these kits, and in there it has pinions, gears, and uh, new shafts. So we're going to try and put one of those in and see if we can reattach this motor that's just floating in space. Okay, the very first thing what we want to do is remove this C-clip right here. Okay, we got, got the clip off. And now the prop should come off. There. Okay, so the next thing that happens is we'll take this gear off. And then this pin comes out. All right. So we're going to take these screws out. And it looks like it's going to fall out. Okay, so we've got the collar, and I believe it's a press fit onto this motor. And it pressed in. It's in there. This piece into the motor. So this piece will come out. It's a press fit. It seems like the motor's turning, so the bearing presses into the other side. And then this will go down the hole through the circuit board. And there it's coming through. Voila, there it is. Okay, so I was correct. Now, all we have to do is line up the screws and screw it back together. Okay, and that's about as tight as we want to get these things. Okay, now, all right, now there is one thing that we want to do. We want to keep these new shafts separate from this. And we want to see whether or not this shaft is okay because it might have gotten bent. So you check it by rolling it. And it seems to be rolling fairly straight. If it had some bend in it, it would go, uh, it would wobble. So <clears throat> the shaft is good. We've got a new pinion gear here. This hole is a D, it's not a round hole. So the shaft is also a D and it only goes on one way. So you have to turn it until it falls onto the slot. I don't, there. Okay, I push it down. And it just, it's just on there. It, uh, just Now, the good thing to notice is that these screws that hold this circuit board in are different than the screws that hold the motor in. So if we zoom in here,
the motor, the, the screw that holds the circuit board in are like self-tapping. And they have a, uh, a point on the end. The ones that hold the motor in are machine screws. And they have a flat head there also. And, and these are a little bit longer. So you got to keep them separated so you don't mix them up. You don't want to put one screw in the other position. Okay, so. There. And keep it kind of loose all the way around. So if we have to do some last minute adjustments. All right, looks like everything's pretty good. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit and take this. This is a really tight fit. Okay, we're back and I've attached the, the rear connector to the circuit board and have the circuit board screwed in to the arm and foot assembly. Now I got some WD-40 that I use and you don't want to use very much that's for sure. So I take a little bit and just put it on the shaft and then you can run it up and down the shaft make sure that the bearing surface is okay. Okay. And then put the shaft in and put the gear on. Yeah, look at that. That looks pretty good. Okay, then we put the prop back on. There, falls down in the slot. And then, one thing left is the C-clamp. So we'll take the C-clamp, put it there, then uh, we'll take a flat blade screwdriver. So anyhow, we've got it back assembled. All right, we're going to put a battery in it and see if all of them come to life. What? Okay, got this. And we hook it up. One, two, three, four. Okay. It looks like it wants to go. Okay. We're good to go. The real test is whether or not this is going to take off. So let's see. I'm going to push the takeoff and we'll see what happens. There it is. It's up and running. So looks like the fix was okay. So let's see if we can uh, bring it over, over the other way, over this way, bring it up, and we'll bring it a little bit closer. Okay. Looks good. The AR drone is working. Good landing. Thanks for watching.